Hello Facebook and YouTube. This is another Real Real Estate with Katherine Wright at the Wright team in beautiful Lawton, Oklahoma, Remax Professionals. I am going to talk today about the um, process of selling a home while being away from your home. This is something that comes up a lot because we are in a military town and so people get PCS'd. When, when people say they're getting PCS'd, that means that they're going to be moving with the army and um, that is basically the army's decision for, to move them. So <laughs> this, um, as a military spouse, I'm very familiar with, uh, with that reality that you don't always have a decision um, in where you're going to be uh, living, that the army gets to make a lot of those big decisions in your family. So I have many of my listings are empty and so that means that i do property checks to verify that they're there that's one way um, so i'm going to go through some of the services and some of the ways that i deal with people being away and i'm also going to talk a little bit of uh, people being away um, with trying to purchase a home believe it or not i have helped people to purchase homes sight unseen there's a very specific process that i will take for that because I want to make sure that we get as close to the person being present as possible. So uh, in order to do this, what we do, and let's just go ahead and deal with the buyers first. It's an easier one. Um, for the buyers, we have somebody calls and says, maybe they're in Taiwan, maybe they're in Germany, maybe they could be anywhere uh, calling and saying, we are moving into town. We need to, we want to buy a house because our orders are gonna be for a certain amount of time. This is the usual conversation. And it makes the most sense for us to go ahead and buy a house now. And we'd like to move directly into it when we come to town, which means that they're going to be purchasing a house without walking through it, because usually they're either on the other side of the country or on the other side of the world. So I will send them either text messages or videos of using YouTube to show what the house looks like, and we will go through each room and I will discuss the house with them and discuss what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling as we walk through and any details that I think are relevant. And then of course, send the, the disclosures that the seller had signed in the beginning. I'll explain the process of purchasing it and we'll figure out who's going to sign for the documents. There's two, two ways of doing that. We can do DocuSign for everything except for the, the final documents. And, um, but the final documents need to be signed by somebody in person in front of a notary. So either they can find a notary where they are and sign the documents in person there, or we can have somebody they trust here, usually somebody associated with their unit who comes and they, they sign for them. And we also usually, I will highly recommend a home inspection and I will give them a list of home inspectors to do the process and make sure that that home inspector is able to access the property and to do the inspection as thoroughly as possible so that they've had plenty of people checking out the property for them. So that's how we do with a buyer who is absent. Now an absent seller. Absent seller, we'll fi I'll find out, okay, they're not here. How do I get a key? We go and we walk through the house and then I do the listing process online with them. Um, over the phone. So we, I use, uh, I use some t tools online to go through and then we talk over the phone. That's one of the reasons I have so many videos on here so that people can just rewatch the videos and learn the process from a distance. So we do that. And then when we list the property, we do property checks to verify that the property is in good condition. I'll once again, use text messages with videos and sometimes I'll use pictures and I'll use, um, if there's a problem, I'll go ahead and get a quote um, to fix it and submit that information. So a lot of it goes through that and also having reliable people to do the yard and to maintain the property for them. And then when we get to closing, I can actually sign for sellers. It's very difficult for me to sign for buyers. Um, it is possible as long as there's not a lender, but most of the time I do not sign for buyers. I sign for, for sellers and they sign some of the documents in person where they are and the other ones i sign at closing i send the copy of they get a copy of everything that's signed and also we negotiate all the de details through usually docusign conversations emails and uh, when i get a copy of the final settlement statement that shows all the numbers 
I will send that to the client and they can review it before closing so that they are able to look at all the relevant data so they are still being able to sort of be there without being present. If you have any questions for me about this or if y'all need to go ahead and um, and start with either a home buying or home selling process and um, you need to reach out to us, feel free to give us a call at 580-713-3066. Again, this is Katherine Wright. I'm with the Wright team at Remax Professionals. We're realtors and we're in Lawton, Oklahoma around Fort Sill. Have a good day. Bye.